Hello my friends and welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout to play along with my Nifty 50 page kit series. And I am using the same page kit that I used on my last video because I felt like there was enough product left that I just couldn't talk myself into putting it all into the stash pile I have. I've got a bunch of stickers. This is Echo Park Springtime and a nice amount of scraps as well as a really nice amount of little die cut pieces. That's why I was like, you know what? I probably should just keep going. And that's the way I thought I should work with this uh, series. There's no point in just like having piles and piles of stash next to me when I can really get some memories documented and kill off as much as I can. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm doing... Today, I am going to work with day nine from Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, series 15, which is over. And it looks like Stella Harris created a two-page sketch. I will be using um, only one page for a sketch. So I'm going to go like this. Boop. <laughs> which, guys, quite frankly, that's a whole other cool layout you could do. So I'm going to just use the one side. Um, now... Let's see, we've got a big piece here, another piece here, a title will be running this way, photos on the wonk. And it looks like I could do kind of like a visual triangle going out that way. I'm gonna do my best. I do not have a ton of product. The first thing I have to do is grab a piece of white, um, a white cardstock, which is what I said I would do is just grab white cardstock as I go if, I needed more to work with. So let me move my cute little sticker sheet aside because that's gonna be decorations in a little bit, right? I have a background, perfect. Oh, let me show you my photo. So I have scrapbooked this photo before and this is a misprint. My, um, my printer decided it did not like me, right? So what if, because we have kind of a film strip idea, what if I just cut it off right there and you're gonna see a little bit of haze, not a lot, right? And then I go ahead and cut the photo right here. And then let's see if I trim the photo pretty darn tight to her on this side, I will use this to measure, to measure. Who did I know that used to say measure? I'll use it to measure right here. These pieces, oh. Nope, a little bit more of a measure, as it were. Okay, I'm going to go like that. And then, because I'll have two pieces just stacked. So let's see. So we have this, and then her taking a sip of rue. So I think... Do, do, do. Oh, I don't really want to cut off her whole hand, but we can cut off some. So let's, let's base it on this one. Because her phone's not that exciting, and neither is the air conditioning unit above her head. No, it is not. So at that point, I think I will measure it to go like that. We're gonna cut off the air conditioning unit for the most part again. And then this piece down here. This has got to be freakishly boring for you guys to listen to me faff about with a couple pictures. Just trying to make them work, my friends. Okay, now in this situation, the film strip is going that way. I'm going to have my heavy film strip on this side of the photo because of the way my daughter is kind of facing. So I'm going to have it like that. We're going to build out some kind of a cute film strip. I will go ahead and mat this in white cardstock first. And I say that every single time. So guys, unless I'm backing it with a frame, we're going to mat it with some white cardstock. So I need a decent size chunkaroo to go for this piece. And guys, I should have just behaved and not worried as much about it all, but here we are. All right, so I'm gonna use some of this really pretty coral color, because that is stunning. I don't have a lot I can use for a full size piece, but we're gonna, we're gonna work with it, guys. We are. I'll show you my plan. I has a plan. So, that's a decent size, right? We're like, okay, not great, but we're gonna work with it. So that 
will go on the side opposite of the film strip side. Great. So then the background on mine is gonna be white. That's fine. So for my film strip edge, ooh, <laughs> this is kind of a pretty idea. Oh, that's so cute. I could use, ooh, guys, I'm, I'm loving all of these things. I might have to kind of rig some things. So why don't I mat these? Then I'm gonna mat them again with the same paper because I think, yep, I'll have enough to mat them with white cardstock and then I will, oh, that's cute, okay. I'll have enough to mat them with white cardstock and then this pretty coral and then I will put them on top of this really pretty white and that's gonna be kind of the film strip part of the block. I think that would be super cute. And my whites are different enough that this is gonna work. So I've got almost everything I could use from my papers. And if you guys watched my last video, I can't tell you how fun it is when I'm like, let me try one more and you actually can get one more out of it. So let's see what we can do here. I need a title. Now, this was actually taken in the summer, so I'm not going to use the word spring and all of that. Now, I am looking at a couple of things. I'm like, would it be pretty if I put like a scallop of purple? Just work with me. Or is this too busy if I did a scallop with that color? Yeah, it's just not, I just don't like it on that. I can do a scallop of the purple though. And I think that would be quite pretty. Or do I do a scallop? Of, I think the scallop of the purple because I want to use just a little bit more. So I'm going to do a nice little scallop edge. And I have, um, I have, what am I saying? I have words. Actually, if I do the scallop of the purple, I would be able to cut this and do a strip of this without the scallop or I could do a scallop going in the other direction. Hmm. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to use this and this for scallop work. I think that would be super pretty. Let me get this piece and pop it on to my sticker block so I make sure I use it. Okay, is there anything else I could use? I like this little thing of the flowers that reads pansies and impatience. Is there another one? Yep, there's three. Yay! So I'm going to use these three packets um, to do something to do with flowers. Now she is on the peninsula in Traverse City and she is at actually Peninsula Grill where they have a lemon lavender martini, which is quite exquisite, quite frankly. So that's what that is. So with that in mind, everything grows with enough love. I'm going to definitely use that because it looks like lavender. See if there's anything I want to use in here. Hello, sunshine might be super cute. Oh, and I can use these. I can use this maybe. No, I can't sneak it in. I like the idea of using some of these repeating elements. Happy spring won't work. Let's see. Oh, just a little fishtail banner. Fresh from the garden. That actually is because they pull the lavender. There's a lavender farm on the peninsula. So I'm gonna use that. That would be super cute. Look at the little gnomies. That is so cute. Doesn't work for this, but super cute. And just for you is rather cute as well. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that there. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna put these aside. Perfect. We already talked about Celebrate Today, Bloom and Grow. Celebrate Today isn't a bad title though, guys. You should celebrate every day. It's like little tiny wins are fabulous. Now, that bright yellow that we talked about, I can bring it in with a bumblebee and I have one more bumblebee from my last layout stuck to my page. And that's gonna bring some of that deep, deep gold around my page a little bit. I think that would be a fab thing to do. Lavender, oh, the bee kind is super cute too. So I think one of these things are gonna end up being my title. I do. So 
The next thing I think I should do, oh my gosh, these garden implements too, guys. I'm going off. The next thing I think I should do is look at my flare to see what will work. I don't know if I have anything um, that's lavendery or not, but I know I will definitely, I'm grabbing just a bunch of the implements. This is a rake, but I like the idea of the hand tools because that's what you use for lavender cutting. I think that would be cute. The little tiny snail, stop it, that's going on. That is so going on. Okay, love all that, like what we picked. I think it's great. Um, welcome to my garden, that color would have worked, but no. Okay, I have that. I also have these pieces and I'm gonna see if I can finish them up. These were from a 49 a market collection. I'm gonna just see if I can sneak them on or not because I'd love to use that up and get that tray back. I'm not gonna use these as far as I know, so I'm gonna put those in my extra paper bin. What else, what else? You know, you know. I could have XOXO be my main title and it's in a puffy. Now on here, it shows a really large title. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, but I think I'm gonna pull that. That might be kind of nifty from my extra little bits. Okay, so I'm gonna put those aside, put my stickers aside. I'm gonna keep these handy. These were from a previous layout as well. I'm doing this in backwards order. I need to finish my background. Mm -hmm. And then I wonder if I could do XOXO martini with these. That might be kind of cute because it is, you know, repeating the gold element. I think that might be kind of cute. I also told you guys, though, I was going to try to go through these pieces before anything for my titles and I lied to you guys. So, oh, that got a little bit orangier. So let's just go through, cause I'd love to get these acrylic pieces used up. I really would. It would be quite grand. Let us eat cake. Dad, look at the cute little lines. They're so cute. Celebrate. Did I just, like lemons would have totally, yeah. Anyway. We use what we have, right? Fun, fun, fun. Can't wait. Dad, what's that yellowy word? Sunrise. Hmm. Nope. And th there's a lemon. <gasps> They're in Traverse City. So that's where that freaking um, acrylic piece would have totally worked. But since I'm not using other acrylic pieces, I'm not going to use it. Okay. I like to have like three repeating elements if I can. I'm not going to make a shaker with anything. Um, now, you know, I'm going to get these pieces on. I'm going to get three pieces of flare on here. And then I think we can go from there. I think, ooh, that's pretty. This orchid colored one, <gasps> the orchid colored one is gorgeous. But I got to see if I have more of that. Well, I do have this orchid and then a pink. Let's see if there's more orchid in here. Guys, these things are so pretty. Why don't I have another orchid one? Orchid, orchid, see that blue is too blue. I wonder if I can sneak that orange in. Hmm, hmm. You know what, I bet I could use that mothy bit because it's the same color as that. We can do it. Okay, I have those pieces. Let me work on getting all these things down. I have all of these pieces down and I'm super happy with it. It looks enough like the sketch that I feel like I did some justice. So thank you, Stella. Now, the next stuff to look at, we looked at our acrylics, right? <laughs> Let me see if there's any of these puffy bits that will work. Oh, there's a little lemon that will work. Let's see, where can we just like tuck in a lemon? Oh, probably right here. That would be cute. I don't know, I don't, know. I don't love it. Let's see, celebrate today. It's like like a random lemon. Oh, found more lemons. Okay, that will make it better. And then I saw there's a couple more pieces with that. Where'd we drop the lemon, guys? <sighs> Do you see it? Here it is. There's a couple more pieces that um, have some of the puffies on it. So I think we can sprinkle that around a little bit. 
I like that enough. Kind of feels like it's all part of the whole. So I'm going to put lemons there. Okay, I like that. Oh, maybe I can tuck that one under there. I like that. Where can we put this little yellow bow? So I have some there, some there. I already have this beautiful yellow right there. I'm going to put it where these impatience are. Okay, got a couple little puppies on. That's enough to make me happy there. Perfect day. We've got a little butterfly. So we've got some gold pieces, but nothing that I really need to use. All right, I can move those aside. Now let's get into... <laughs> um, I could use some of these acrylic pieces, these little florals. I can sprinkle a few of those around. And that might fill in some of this spot here that has me a little bit, hmm. Yeah, I like that. It's white, it's nice and clean, that's fine. Let's see. So I'm gonna pop some of these florals here, there, and everywhere. One up there would be great. So one in that cluster and then one down in this cluster. That's super fun. Then I've got some bling from Buttons Glore and More. They're called crystals. I'm gonna sprinkle those all over the place. And then I'm gonna look, to finish it up, I think I'm gonna look, where, where are they guys? Where are my, oh, they're right in my face. Let's see if in here, I have anything, but oh, found it. That really deep yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up, guys, with a few of these pieces. I'm gonna have some still shots to follow. I think this came together really well, considering I was gonna put this stuff in my stash as, you know, as if I couldn't create another layout, but it did come together. I love it. Still shots to follow. I will have links down below for Buttons Glore and more. Um, so, because there, I have a discount code, I thought you might like that. Okay, guys, I, I don't think there's anything else, but I'll see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.